Okay, so I got a question from Julie Rice uh, about 15 hours ago. Hi, do you have a tutorial like this for multiple video sliding effect? Instead of picture, you will use videos. <laughs> is that possible? Okay, so this is possible. So you know that we have Filmora 10 and uh, with the animation keyframe, it is very easy to add a keyframe and let the video or image moving around on the screen. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create video sliding effect uh, in Filmora 10 in such just some minute. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so here I am on my computer screen and it is the demo video. We are show at the beginning of the tutorial. Uh, you see, uh, we have some layer here. So one, two, three, four. So I have four video of B, just, just a talking head video. Just should you know that I always shoot myself as a demo video. Uh, hopefully you don't mind about that. Uh, and we have some overlay here. And you can see uh, some keyframe here. So I have keyframe, uh, some keyframe on the first video and on the second video, the third video and the fourth video. Okay, so let's play the demo video first. It is very nice, right? So uh, let me show you step by step on how to create this effect, okay? So let's delete everything on the timeline first. Uh, now we need some video. So I, I will not tell you how to import the video because it is very easy. By the way, I'm going to my folder. So I have four video here. So in order to create video sliding effect, uh, it is a little bit different compared to uh, create sliding effect for the image because the video uh, we have different uh, duration so we have to make sure that all the video has the same duration okay so first thing I will drag and drop all of my video onto the timeline and then press this button to view everything so all of them are here so let's mute the audio first I'm going to select everything here and press ctrl shift M to mute the audio uh, now I need to overlay all the video uh, on top of each other. Uh, this is to make sure that I have the same duration. So I'm going to split the, all the video at this position. Let's select all of them and then uh, cut and delete the rest here. Alright, so by doing this, I have four video with the same duration, right? And now it's time to create the animation keyframe for them. So this is the first one, I'm going to use this one for the first one, and this is the second one, and this is the third one, and this is the final one. So first thing, uh, let's create the animation keyframe for the first one and do the same for all others. Before doing that, I want to, uh, to change the zoom level of the preview window. Okay, to do that, we can right click at the preview window and then select zoom level. I'm going to select 10%. So that I have only a small, small preview window here, so I can position the uh, the video easily. Okay, so let's go to the first one, and now we need to add keyframe, and let's move the playhead to the beginning of the first clip and click this button to add the, a keyframe. Okay, so just click here to add a keyframe. Now we need to move move our video to this side, to the right side, or if you want to create. Uh, sliding effect from the left you can move it to the left uh, for the first keyframe and then uh, move it to the right for the second keyframe okay so what I'm going to do is to drag and drop it at this position by the way I figure out that uh, the position the, the position number here uh, if we put the video uh, next to the preview window uh, the, the X position number will be 19020 so uh, it can uh, look at the, the number and then we, we can change the number to change the position uh, of the video instead of uh, click here and drag it to the right, okay? So this is a first keyframe and let's move our playhead to the, the end frame of the first one and then uh, we can adjust the position here, the X position to move it from the right to the left okay so again i will look at the number here so we have minus uh, 1920 so the uh, on the right side is 1920 and on the left side is minus uh, 1920 so let's see the the animation for the first clip 
Okay, this is the animation. Oh my god, it is too slow because uh, my my video it is too long, so the animation is too slow. Okay, so in order to increase the speed of the animation, we can adjust the keyframe right here. Uh, so uh, maybe it should be like this. So I make a mistake and make too long video. Okay, so let's fix it. Uh, let's play it. Yeah, I think this speed look fine, but uh, I want to speed it up a little bit. All right, I think this speed is uh, is okay. So we need to split the clip at the end, the end of the animation here, uh, for the first clip, and then delete this one. So we need to overlay this, uh, overlay all the clip here, and measure the clip again. So we need the same duration for all the clip. Uh, so whenever you want to create this effect, make sure that you have uh, the correct duration, maybe one second or two seconds for the video, okay? Uh, let's do it again, uh, split it, split them and then arrange them on the timeline again. Okay, nice. And the next thing, we want to create the animation keyframe for the second one, the third one and the fourth one. Okay, for this one, uh, we can just put the animation to the end of the clip. Okay, so uh, we are going to add another keyframe for the second one. So let's click this button to add a keyframe. And now adjust the position, the number at the position here. Uh, we can type 1920 and press enter. So it will be on the right side and go to the end of the clip, uh, the second clip. And then we can type here, minus 1920. Because uh, we know the, the position of the first clip, uh, so we can do the same for the second clip. Okay, and the third and the fourth clip here. So this one, nothing special, just add animation. And then type the number here, 1920. And for the first keyframe and for the second keyframe is minus 1920. And the last one. Okay, so add the keyframe and then 1920 for the uh, for the first one, and go to the end, the end of the clip here, and type here the number minus 1920. All right, so now we have animation keyframe for all the clip, and now let's play the first clip and see the sliding effect for the first one. Okay, so we can stop here when the video just draws the vertical line uh, at the preview window and we can use our arrow key to move it back or forward. So we are going to move it backward like this. One, two, uh, okay, so this frame. And now we need to overlay the second clip at right this position so it can, can start sliding to the left continuously, okay? So I'm going to select this one and drag it, drop it right here and let's preview it very nice and we can do the same we can stop the second video and use our arrow key to move it from here so see the line right okay so at this position we can align the second video to this point so we start sliding and let's preview the third one. Uh, I think it's a little bit too slow, so we can uh, speed it up a little bit here. No, it is too fast, and we can make it right here because uh, we want to have a black border here. So there's a black border here. Okay, so we can increase the animation a little bit so it will be slower okay I think it's fine and we can do the same do the same for the last one okay and we can put it right here and preview the last one and it should be like this at this position okay
okay i think it's fine and that is how you can create a sliding effect for video in what is your film 10 and if you want to add some overlay we can go to the effect tab here uh, and this one yeah, we can use this one uh, at the film stock uh, fact wonder share back uh, back to school and we can overlay it right here so we have a frame very nice right and uh, we want to add more more elements so uh, we want to have a silent film so we go back to the the overlay here we go with the film and frame and we can do this one film number one film number two and film number three i think it's to be right like this that's easy right okay so that is how you can create a video sliding effect in filmora 10. i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.